in this game. Shutan also does go Shulk. Of course, I think him and Komei are relatively within the same region, roughly, uh, in Japan. I mean, that's all you, man. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know ge Japan geography that well. Um, it all depends. I can't remember what exact region Komei and Shutan are from. I just know that uh, the last time they were here, they... I mean, some of them, they, mostly Team Japan does hang out with each, amongst each other, right? Because they are separated by huge regions. So they do like to converse with each other every now and then when they do come to these tournaments. All right, let's see how this goes down. I feel like, in my opinion, I feel like Shulk actually does pretty well against Olimar. Yeah. So this is going to be a very Correct. interesting Correct. one to see. Nico has such a huge lead against Myra, and he has such a huge lead against now Dabuzz. Right, up to face Japan's own Olimar. Things could change though, because I mentioned it earlier, if you guys have been listening to the stream, Japan has its own metagame. Oh, big parry coming from Shutan though, gets a big punish off of that. Yeah, that's one of the the banes of the, the sword characters. The landing timing is kind of the same, so if you get, get a parry, then you can probably get a punish afterwards too. Yeah, and one, especially for sword characters, right, one of the things Shulk does lack here is frame data. Yeah. Mix it up four, though, in those big hitboxes. And you mentioned it, the parry is big for him, but that down smash is not going to be big for Shutan. Mm -hmm. All right. In speed art right now. Nice. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Decides to wait it out a little bit. I like it, too. He took him across the stage with the corner carry of the forward airs and switches up to smash art at the last second. And he reads the getup, but not enough even with smash art or the rage. Okay, that time doesn't go for the air slash. He knew he wasn't the right distance for it. But he's still keeping up control here, but Monique takes him off. Back in neutral right now. Okay, block string, just keeps him at bay right here. Now we got himself at the ledge again. Nice, trying to mix him up with the back air and the forward tilt. Nico with such control, even though Shutan started off with a big lead. Back throw? No, he doesn't get it. Ah, oh, and that puts him in a bad position. All of a sudden, that back air is going to be able to take out that stock. Nice, not enough, but it's a quick get off me option here. Yeah, I think he was ready for it too. As soon as that up smash hit, then he was going to do the air slash out of shield. He just knew. Right, and it's kind of a question for Nico here to fight this battle. He can do it against some of the U.S.'s biggest Olimars, but can he do it against Japan's biggest? Yeah, that's a that's the main question. Right now, every single time... Oh! Oh, and neither of them losing their stock, actually. Uh, every time that Shutan is in a bad spot and he has to recover, he always mixes it up, because every time against any other kind of player, Nico can always get some kind of fair, some kind of air slash, but for some reason, Shutan is just slipping from his fingers every single time. Yeah. It won't slip out of the fingers for Nico on that air slash, even though Shutan does have a two stock lead. Speed art will give Nico that decreased jump height to kind of give a little bit more pressure with Lutra Air. Into Shield Art. He doesn't want to get comboed too heavily here. He's not even afraid of Shield Art, dude. He's just still going in, man. He, I mean, he knows what it means, right? It's still percent. Not only that, uh, very similar to Rebel's Gauge, it does lose meter if you continuously hit Shulk. <laughs> yeah, Shutan with a very commanding lead so far. Looking kind of difficult right now. I mean, this is, of course, Shulk, so a lot can happen, but I feel like just the way that Shutan's controlling the pace of the match is going to be very difficult for Nico to really find something on this first game. Maybe oh, the second game he can. The up air was so close, though, especially with Smash Art. You mentioned how he's slipping through the fingers here, and Shutan making sure he dives just a little bit extra low and moves to the side yeah. to avoid getting hit by down air. Every time you, do every time you don't edge guard, an Olimar, then it's just so difficult. Uh, it makes the match so much more difficult. Great armor, actually, get through that <laughs> up tilt. I was going to say. Off stage play, nice. Nico returns to the stage, though. He doesn't see the down air. I'm sorry, he doesn't see a forward air or the air slash on the return. He wants to control the stage. All right, Smash Hard about to go away. What is he going to go for here? Oh, oh the second that hit. sucks, yeah. Really trying Hot to find something yeah, in the area. Blue yeah, Pikmin. Blue Pikmin. All right, I'll do it. That's uh, not quite the game that I was expecting, especially after hyping up that Nico does pretty well, or excuse me, that, that I think that Shulk does pretty well against Omar. Well, Def definitely not the game I wanted to happen right after that, so now I just lost some credibility, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but like I mentioned it earlier too, right? Japan is its own metagame. That's kind of one of those things Japan has always had over the US, right? They live within their own metagame. And it is very different for them. I mean, it's one thing to take care of U.S.'s biggest Olimar mains, but to fight Japan's Olimar mains is in a different tier almost of its own. Game one, shoot on here. Game two to be had here. We'll see how things can play out for Nico. Still staying calm. 
He knows how close he was last game, especially just a couple of corrections he has to make here. And you mentioned it earlier, right? Shruton's on the recovery. He has been sleeping through Nico's fingers. At least a neutral air can get rid of the Pikmin relatively quickly. Yeah. Doesn't have to worry about it too much. Pretty much covers his whole body, so. Alright, Buster Art. First time I've seen that actually in the set so far. It means a lot too, especially with Shuton going to shield when he gets up at the ledge. Shield damage is increased. It's kind of a 50-50, right? Either I'm taking 70% or you are. Yeah. Just trying to get rid of all these Pikmin. Okay, gets the... I don't know if that was a shield drop or a shield poke, but he gets something. Hold that back. It would have meant so much too. More stage control, but not enough to kill Shuton, but still stage control to be had. Buster Art, he switches up to it too. I think what Nico is looking for here is a percent lead to kind of force Shuton to start playing into his game. Uh-huh. Okay, Air Slash. Now all of a sudden Nico is looking a lot better in this game, but uh, it's going to matter who's going to close out the stock first. Still not enough to do it. Oh, and you oh. mentioned it every single time, man. Shuton's got something to slip through the cracks. Yeah, I don't know how he does it, dude. Like every other player, Nico is so confident he's able to get a fair. He always goes deep for the edge guards too, but this time around he's playing a lot more conservative. I think he knows that he's kind of met his match on the edge guard scenario here. Yeah. It's the game plan versus game plan, and Shuton's game plan knows what he has to do to survive against Shulk off stage. Oh, he's good, he's good. Yeah. I like that he goes for the pummel in the percent. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's actually really nice. He went for a tech chase oh, scenario. Oh, no, but he caught him on the starting frames of the back air, and back air... Yeah, I mean, Shulk, the cooldown, not so bad. Mm -hmm. The actual problem is the startup. You know, he always has to reach behind his back to yep. grab the sword and then bring it up in front of him. Yeah, so now Shuton, relatively commanding lead, all things considered. And again, just knowing the timing on when a sword character lands, you, you know you can get a free parry and a punish off of that. Alrighty. I feel like Nico is now learning to be more content staying on stage for the edge for the stage guard here, because the way that things have been playing on off stage. Dude, I can't get over how many times Shuton has mixed up how he gets back from the ledge. It's just been working out so well for him. Monique's available. Oh, a parry on the air slash. Very nice stuff. And Nico switched up the shield after that last second, too. He knows what it means to still have that extra uh, extra huh. weight. I saw the whistle come out. I guess the armor frames didn't quite come out yet. So yeah. He's finally going to be able to take a stock, but is it too little too late? Because 127%. Like, Shou can make that up, but the way Shuton's playing, he's not letting him open up those opportunities to get that huge amount of damage that Shulk's known for. Well, there's a reason why we call him Nico Stocks here, and Nico's doing an excellent job making sure he's still at 127 with two stocks and not one. I like he waits. He even he knows he doesn't want to go for another hit. Armor. There's a reason why we call him Nico Stock. Can he get the forward air here? But Shuton stalls himself just enough time. I. Every time he hasn't been edge guarded once, that's yeah. the, that's the tough part. He hasn't even been ledge trapped with like a fair once, and again another dare just keeps him at bay. Yeah, and the shield art to last here. Good pummel though. He wanted that to run out. He's got blue pikmin out here. Nico has to watch out getting grabbed. Honestly, I think any of the any of these pikmin will kill. Oh, but just run up for tilt. Okay. Nico with Great the first equalizer. Lead. Any percent Nico gets here is worth so much, especially in game two against Shuton. Good parry. Now Nico looking to parry against shoot on here, but unfortunately that wasn't enough after the forward tilt. All right, both of these two, pretty much even in percents. It's going to be a matter of last stock scenario here. Okay, Air Slash comes in. Nico's starting to look a little bit more confident right now. He keeps going in, though, so I feel like he needs a little bit more time to wait, but we'll see. Ay, ay, ay. That's not good. <laughs> Two Monique's definitely not good at all. Yeah, and that's where we see him switch up to the shield art. That's gonna run out though, and he still has the Pikmin. He parried the actual hit of the backslash too, and he reads the jump from the disadvantage. Nico's still alive at 152. Can he make it back? But unfortunately, Nico only had the up B to come down from. Sorry, up from. Wow. Alrighty. So it was closer. So close. Closer. But still a little little tough. Well, let's see what the next one's going to be. FD? Back to Stadium? I feel like Stadium's Nico's favorite stage. But maybe he's deciding maybe that's not the right, right call right now. 
Okay. And then Shoot we're looking on up 2-0. And I'm with you on that one when we saw it earlier too. I really don't know. I, sometimes when you go ahead and move forward here, I really wouldn't be able to tell you guys like what frame does the armor activate on the whistle too. Yeah. Because there was a few of them when that happened. All right, let's see. <laughs> Not gonna get anything quite yet. Okay, landing Nair into another Nair. Gets actually a decent amount of damage off of that. Dang. Man, Shuton's control is just so, so good. I just can't get over it. Okay, gets an up throw. Decides to wait. Oh, and he tried to go for <laughs> the Monado purge at that point. Not quite gonna work out though. Purple Pikmin sends him to the other side. Okay, that air slash range is going to work out just fine. Nice. Nico with a, with a big lead here. I, know, I wouldn't say too big, but the lead is a lead at this point for Nico, no, yeah, right? It's something. It's something. <laughs> Up throw. Yep. And this is looking tough here for one of SoCal's finest. But he's still finding a good fight here in a jump arc, able to jump over. I think at this point for Nico, he kind of understands I can't really edge guard shoot on right now. I'm not feeling as confident as I would normally be. I'm gonna have to sit to the stage and find other ways. And maybe and maybe, just maybe, shoot on will drop his guard when I try to go for off stage yeah. cards. I think that every time he shoot on goes for like a recovery op. Okay, finally, finally, after three games he gets a fair at the edge. Uh, every time Chuton makes Nico think he's going for something, then he always trips him up with something different. I think that's part of the reason why the edge guarding has been so difficult against Chuton. Because it always, whenever I'm watching him, I feel like, okay, he's just going to go for this option. And then he trips him up immediately afterwards. Jump art, he can, he can make it low. A nice tech, still able to recover, and the forward momentum from the last set of air slash, able to make sure he grabs the ledge. Yeah, that definitely helped him out there. And just like that, Chuton has pretty much almost demolished Nico's lead. Didn't get the grab that time around, though. Forward smash, put him on the other side. He is so good at intercepting that. Oh, there we oh, go. There's the spike. Yeah, and if being in shield art right, you do become the heaviest character of the game. It does increase your weight, so you won't be able to come from that low. And I think you even saw Nico searching for the jump art. Mm -hmm. Okay, up tilt into up air, then decides to go away. He knows the shield art's coming out. Attack on some more damage. Oh, and run off spike, but it doesn't get the spike hitbox. Nico lives to fight another day, but is it too little too late? He's looking for an in here. He's looking for something. Yeah, finally gets a back air. Smash R, he might, yeah, I was gonna say, if anything, he's gonna switch off immediately. Down throw into the fair. And the thing here is if, if oh, oh no, and the roll from the ledge. I'm sorry, the roll from the left side of the stage. He wasn't even at the ledge. He was, he was towards the ledge. But. Uh, just so much pressure. I thought he could get around it, but is ready for it.